Welcome to Let's Talk About Health, an informational podcast that gives you insights on health and fitness from experts themselves that you can apply directly to your own personal health and fitness stories. Come join me today to hear all about what they have to say on health and fitness. Um, yeah, nice to meet you. And what kind of question do you have? Yes, sir. Nice to meet you. So I'm a physical therapist. I'm practicing here in New York. And I have always been fascinated with aquatic therapy. Can you tell us how aquatic therapy works and how it has fascinated you and your life? Mm -hmm. Of course. Um, aquatic therapy is... Um really special environment and this environment is uh, is perfect to um, to come back in the movement because uh, a lot of patients with chronic pain they right. have um, they avoid any movement because if you have pain in your body you don't want to move because uh, it's, it's, uh, the tissue is um, strong and um, you you don't want to move because you're um, afraid if you get you you get more more pain and so um, you go a different way in the in the warm water and so you have a good possibility to work with the patient and he's motivated motivated to to come back in the movement yeah this is really important because otherwise the muscles are uh, getting more tight and short and also weak yeah this is a this is a process this is not good for um come back uh, in the recovery and for the rehabilitation process Correct. I agree with you. Being a physical mm -hmm. therapist, it is so difficult for the movement to just start to begin. So when do you think would be the right time for aquatic therapy? Because a few patients are quite sensitive and they are, it's very uncomfortable to start. But no, when would you um, Yeah, okay. The wounded, if you, after surgery, you, you have to um, take care for the for the scarf or wounded, you can put um, uh, item for um, for um, take care or secure because the chloride for water uh, okay. or the bacteria infection. But um, after the physical therapist or doctor say it's okay, you can go in the water. You can try also with uh, help from the therapist. It's not necessary to to um, you can walk. Yeah, it's uh, possible for everybody. And um, okay, some contraindications do you have? Yeah? But I worked. Um, I have experience also with uh, patients with epilepsy, and it's also possible to to work wow. in the water. Mm -hmm. and, so, what um, precautions do you take with such patients? Hmm? What precautions would you take with such patients that have neurological uh, dysfunction or like epilepsy? Yeah, the, um, you, you have to check up with the neurologic uh, doctor, uh, it's possible or not. And uh, maybe you have um, some a mother or father from the patient or from the family. Um, they know uh, more about the behavior from the patient, and then it's it's possible, I guess. I have the experience, and um, but mostly you have uh, patients uh, like uh, multiple sclerosis or after apoplex and uh, with um, hemiparesis or with uh, spastic, yeah, mm -hmm. this is, uh, and uh, Parkinson and yeah, this kind of. Um, disease is uh, grow up yeah and a lot of patients with uh, diabetes mm -hmm. um, yeah and fibromyalgia as a lot of chronic diseases yeah? right that's true so how is the healthcare system in germany how would you say it is mm, 
Yeah, it's, it's um, quite good, but uh, a lot of uh, hospitals um, uh, are private, and so they uh, spend not so much money for aquatic therapy because it's a, a really a really high cost, energy cost in Germany. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of uh, hospital manager will delay this kind of offer. And this is, um, uh, yeah, it's really sad. No? And right. the problem is uh, the most clinics or hospitals in Germany are private, no? holding. No? And this is, um, yeah, but some rehabilitation clinics, um, especially for chronic pain, or pain patients has this offering also aquabec training with devices in the water and this is a really really good um, uh, offering for the patients um, and in germany is not so popular that you have small private hospitals maybe in us more no? correct there, there are quite a few of private hospitals mm -hmm. and yeah, the insurances. I feel like here there are a lot of chances for us to work with allied sciences like chiropractic, uh, needling, aquatics, yeah. mm -hmm. a lot of things. So we can really try to get but again like you said it's a little pricey it's a little expensive so you mm -hmm. have to be we cannot prescribe it to everybody no it's not for everybody but for patients they want to um, try this special um, kind of rehabilitation or treatment they are maybe be able to spend a little bit more money for this um, uh, kind of treatment and it's really uh, valuable. Also, I guess it's, it's, it's a good effect, really great benefit for the patient. Yeah. And and the patient, patient knows that uh, you need more energy cost and it's, uh, it's not a normal uh, physiotherapy uh, treatment. Yeah? Okay. And so I guess it's a good possibility to offer a um, special kind of treatment. I, I like uh, the not the normal movement in the water or rehabilitation program. I, I like to combine the osteopathic medicine uh, with aquatic therapy. Uh, you, can, you can handle or you can do a lot of techniques in the water from the osteopathic medicine. And this is really high effect and a really good benefit and the patients love this. Correct. That's really, the combination therapy is really working well today mm -hmm. with osteopathic therapy, like you said. If we combine mm -hmm. a lot of therapies together, it's for the patient, the recovery is good. It's it's very well for the, it's, it's recommended for the patient today. Yeah, because in the water you you don't have so much gravity, and uh, it's really easy for the patients lay lay down in the water with buoyancy uh, items, and so you can. You, it's also easy for the therapist uh, to to work with the uh, cranial or with the skull and uh, the neck and uh, with the lower body. You, know? you can go under the lower lower back. And you can do vibrations, and you can um, increase uh, um, flexibility. This is really important for the beginning in the rehabilitation. That's true. So, did you find that the recovery time with aquatic therapy was less with just normal therapy? Definitely less, because uh, I have a lot of experience with patients. Uh, after with uh, multiple sclerosis or after apoplex and they can walk earlier than on the land yeah or uh, you combine both therapy because on land they cannot um, come back in the in the walking but in water they can walk and this is uh, really good for the neuromuscular system and for the connections between the motoric system and the body posture and this is uh, 
um, even a great effect for for the motivation. Yeah. Oh, right. I, I I can walk again. I, so long I I can't walk. Yeah. And this is um, yeah, it's uh, amazing what you what you can um, uh, achieve in the water. Yeah? That is right. That is so true. So what do you think about, what is one misconception that you have heard about aquatic therapy that you do not agree with? A misconception? What do you mean? <laughs> that, that, you know, you hear people talking about something, but it's not true at all about aquatic therapy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know what the people talk about that uh, because uh, this is for me not important. I I like that and um, all of what I do is good for the people and so the people um, talks uh, good about this kind of therapy and because okay some people thinking oh this only in the water is not not a, a load or not. Um, this is not sport or not therapy. This is only for old people. Yeah, but that's not true. You, you can use for for all kind of ages. Yeah, for for children, uh, juvenile and adults. No? This is really good, and uh, I use it uh, also in my praxis. I have um, the last weeks. I had some. Young patients, they have a sub supination trauma or problems with the ankles, and I can you can kinesotape and then immediately in the water, yeah, can running because the, the edema is um, reducing time is be much better in water, it's uh, for the lymphatic system, and so they can work really definitely earlier. Mm -hmm. So would you suggest it for lymphatics? I'm a certified lymphatic therapist here. So mm -hmm. would you suggest for lymphatic patients to do aquatic therapy? Of course, this is necessary because uh, sometimes you have not so much therapist for lymphatic drainage for the Perfect. for the treatment. And uh, it's, it's not enough. You, you can use uh, uh, lymph drainage in, in the afternoon aquatherapy. It's really important, uh, the running, walking in the water, deep water, so the lymphatic system is it's the best, one of the best treatment. Yeah? That is, I never thought about that. I will start suggesting my patients. Mm -hmm. I did, I had one patient with knee surgery, ACL tear, and mm -hmm. he's a very young patient. So we're doing, we started with plyometrics. We were at an advanced stage. So I told him, you know, we do not have aquatic therapy at our setup. So I suggested him, why don't you go swimming? So he, mm -hmm. did, he took his son and he went swimming and he could do so many things. He could really, the movement was really so flexible. And I also observed an increase in his end range. So the last 10 degrees was lacking with the knee flexion. But after uh, um, he was swimming, I could see the difference. The aquatic therapy really, just swimming, not even aquatic therapy session, just swimming, it increased his range, the last range. And I could see the mm. difference. It was really impressive. Yeah, this is uh, the best combination is uh, water and land. And uh, you need for, for, the, for the rest of rehabilitation or come back in the full um load possibility for the for the completely uh, fitness um, you need the completely flexibility and in the water is easy you can also work uh, manual yeah you can uh, you can do a track traction from the joint and you can manual therapy you can do in the water it's so really good and really important because if you have not the full flexibility you are not 100 percent uh, fit yeah correct that is true if you don't have the last range complete flexibility that means you're still lacking and you need to work on yourself so what is one latest research that you read about aquatic therapy that you found very interesting 
<laughs> this is a long time ago because um, actually in the, at the moment I don't work so much in the water because uh, I have um, a lot of patients on, on land for osteopathic medicine and homeopathic medicine and uh, I work with my hands a lot and uh, not so much time and uh, my um, Doctor thesis is some some years ago, I, but I can uh, write you later, uh, and I I will check. Okay, if it's okay, yeah. you agree. And Sorry, that's I cannot do, uh, talk about it, um, but I can bring you this uh, little uh, this articles. Hmm? Okay, that would be really helpful. Thank you so much, sir. So, okay. what would be one piece of advice that? you would give to any therapist who is starting with aquatic therapy? Well, what would what do you think he should know, he or she should know about aquatic therapy? Yeah, I guess um, important um, is, um, is uh, most important is the practice. Yeah, a lot of practice. And um, yeah, it's uh, the motivation to touch the patient in the water and you can try in the vertical position, you can try lying position. Yeah? You, 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 you have to uh, try to, to work with the patients close to your body. Yeah? And um, um, most important is that, that you are for yourself, you have to be safe in the water. Yeah? And uh, you, you observe always your patient. Yeah? Because in the water, warm water, it's a different environment, and uh, we have a lot of chronic, uh, chronic uh, pain, pain patients, and they have a, a, take a lot of medications, and you don't know uh, how is um, the reaction in the water, and so it's really important to to talk with the patient. You are okay. How was the feeling and uh, how was the color? And um, I guess this is most important. Yeah. And so you get a lot of experience and then you, you're getting um, um, your self -con consciousness better and better. Right. So, do you think telehealth is the next step to healthcare? Hmm? Do you think telehealth, like doing healthcare on the phone on on the computer is the next step to fitness or no <laughs> no i guess not because uh, the patients needs your hands and, and to touch and uh, a guidance yeah in water and land, land too yeah and i guess uh, the human you cannot uh, um, it's not the same so we're coming up with so many technologies, robots, uh, AI, yeah. so much. But this is, um, no, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not uh, satisfied about that. I guess it's not the right way for 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 the treatment. No? It can help in, in different kind of um, fields. No? Correct. The, the, in the therapy, they need uh, the human. Right. That is so true. Thank you, sir, so much for giving me your time and just talking, just sharing your thoughts. And I hope you have a lovely meal with your daughter. And thank you, thank you so much, sir, for everything. Thank you. And um, yeah, I'm happy about your interest and uh, hope um, I can help you anyway. Thank you so much, sir. Thank I look you. forward to it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. You bye bye. Bye. Have bye -bye. a good night. Bye. -bye. bye, -bye. Thank you for listening to our talk about health. You can follow me on Instagram at bhavna.devnani, on Facebook at bhavna.devnani, and we'll leave all the information in the description below. Thank you.